Well, ain't that some shit? I'm back! And uh, here's the relative information of my area at this time. <laughs> What's up, guys and girls? It's been a little while. Um, no, I didn't quit YouTube. Uh, I heard some other people are doing that recently, but uh, no, not me. I uh, just actually took a break. Um, I don't know, I tend to do that from time to time. If you've been subscribed to me for any length of time, you know that my videos can be sporadic at times. And there's been times when I've been known to take up to six month breaks, so, you know, feels yourself lucky that I didn't wait that long. <laughs> but uh, now I've been feeling the need to video, do some videos again, and uh, this is going to be one of them. If I can hit the button. Oh, what a beautiful spring day it's become. The sun wasn't out earlier. It's cloudy and dreary, but uh, cleared right up. So the old truck, uh, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I did get this running, and uh, it's actually staying running after rebuilding the carb on it. Uh, but I haven't really got into much other than that because I need to fix a hole in the radiator so it will hold water, and then I can get it up to operating temperature because it won't idle at the, this moment, but uh, that's no big surprise. And Mr. Puppy over there, he's pretty happy. <laughs> He's <laughs> rolling in the grass. Silly boy. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly boy? Huh? What are you doing? And, uh, you might also notice my parking spot here is empty. Yeah, I got rid of the old Ford, if you didn't know that already. I know I told some of you, but, uh, some of you I didn't tell. So, now you know. And not only did I get rid of the Ford, I got rid of the Jeep too. Uh, I sold the Ford uh, for actually just a little less than I paid for it, which was pretty good. And the Jeep I traded for another truck actually, which I will show you in a second. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> yes, I got a Chevy. Well, GMC. It's no difference to me. And of course, like Fords can't make rad supports, Chevys can't make bumpers to save their life. This is literally just a little skin of something left. But anyways, you might get a laugh out of these. Yet she's got big old stacks on her there coming off a of Flowmaster. So uh, she definitely sounds throaty. It's a 5.3 and it's got a uh, 4 speed automatic shift kit in it. She works fucking good, boys. I must say, she works fucking good. She burns real easy. Uh, it's. I actually have the door part. Um, the power window doesn't work. And uh, the previous owner had this actually ingenious little idea to keep the window up. And it works quite well, but it, you know, after you hit bumps and stuff, after a little bit of time, it starts creeping its way down. So you just got to put it back up. But the cables are broken in the regulator, so I'm going to see if I can't get another regulator here in the next little bit. And uh, pop a new regulator in there, fix that. They had uh, this accent color painted on the stacks back there and on the hubcaps as well as here on the dash end and the rear end. I'm going to leave it here on the dash, but uh, I already took it off the stacks and the hubcaps. You can see the hubcaps there. They look a lot better, I think. They were, like I said, they were that re weird red. And, I don't know, I just didn't really like that. I much prefer even dingy factory ones in comparison. I can always take that and clean it up and shine them up if I want to as well. But, uh, I thought you guys might like these chicken stacks. I thought they are fucking hilarious. A uh, buddy that I got it from custom made them. But, uh, after, you can see a little bit of the red paint still right there. But you can see, from taking it off, I used a wire wheel on a drill. And just because I was basically lazy and I didn't want to take forever to do it. And even then it took a little while. But because of that, it scraped it all up and it's all scuffed and scratched. But uh, it's kind of cool because it gives it that brush look, you know. So I like that about it. Um, but it's a truck. It's four-wheel drive. It's a 99. The frame's been patched. It's, you know, it's a typical Chev. It's got a rotten frame. But, you know, I can still do what I want to do with it for now. Um, the big thing is, is I can haul stuff again. Well, I will be able to soon. The only thing I don't like about it right now is the hinge here. 
The little doofucky here is broke. Here, I'll show you. See that thing? There's supposed to be that little little loop, hoop thing, round thing, disc. <laughs> Anyways, that's long gone, but that's an easy thing. It's just two bolts to replace it. So. Um, I'm thinking too, I'm probably going to have to put some kind of a heat guard. It already looks like there might be some shit melted to that muffler. So, I'm probably going to maybe take that other piece of diamond plate. I think I have a couple pieces kicking around too. So, I might put those on there as well, just to kind of cover that up a bit and help with the heat transfer. Because, last thing I need is a gas can sliding around, you know, running into the muffler and melting through and catching fire. And having explosions in the back of the truck. <laughs> but, uh, you know, all in all, I'm very happy with the deal. I traded it for the Jeep straight up. Um, I mean, the Jeep had issues, this has issues, but it gets around, it does the trick. Uh, you know, I mean, I am a Ford guy, that's for sure. I've always had Fords before. This is actually my first Chevy truck. But this, again, is for me, it's just more of a beater truck. That's a little bodywork. Both sides and the bottom edges of the box there and there need to be done. The rockers, I think, too. But, <laughs> big green over there. Well, big green's getting, gonna soon get, be getting uh, a lot of work done. And uh, once big green is, you know, on the road, this thing becomes obsolete real fucking quick. It was actually funny, I thought, you know, geez, this ain't that small of a truck, you know. So when I brought it home, I was standing there with my buddy talking, we were standing on the hood, or, you know, with our arms on the hood, and I was like, geez, this is pretty big. And I got home, pulled up to the hook, and that thing, and I was like, fuck, it's a little bitch. <laughs> modern, most modern four-wheel drive trucks ain't close to the size of that thing, and it's not even near as big as it's getting. I'm still putting way bigger tires on it first. And then I'm probably going to put a lift kit in it, so. <laughs> that sucker's going to be at least another foot taller than it is now, if not more. <laughs> so, she's going to be a big fucking truck. But, uh, I just got to get the basics down right now. I got to get the oil, really got to get the oil changed as well. Where that's been sitting for so long, I don't trust that the oil will be any good in it anymore for much. So I don't want to run it up too hard without any good oil. And right now, like I said before, the cooling system is fucked. There's no, you know, it's not not full. And, uh, or it won't fill because of the hole in the red. So, until I fix the hole in the red, I'm kind of shitting the water for at least getting it all run up and running well. Um, but I'm still stuck on brake booster and, um, fuck, what else? Um, steering, yes, that important thing that makes you not crash into stuff now and then but yeah it's a work in progress you know it's a lot of stuff to do but uh, in the meantime I got this one to tie me by you know I'm gonna do a little work to it I'd like to replace that rear bumper if I can I don't even care with what just a rear bumper because I like to have a rear bumper to step on the back with and you know fix the door and the other doors on the other side have some issues other than that, I probably won't do too much more. Maybe I'll, I'll dummy up this bodywork because I can. And, you know, I'll roll with it there and see, you know, how long I keep it. And again, this guy's coming. Oh my god!